Chris. Let's not waste any time. Android seal. Mysterious youth trunks, a visitor from the future. He tells of a pair of androids who will appear in three years' time that will kill Piccolo and the others. In order to avoid that terrible future, Piccolo, Goku, and Gohan begin training even harder. And then three years later, as trunks warn, the androids appear in the city. So these are the fearsome androids, huh? Not quite the monsters I'd imagined. Piccolo and the others step up to prevent the destruction of the city while Goku faces off with Android 19. see it too, right? Yeah, right. It seems his technique is rushed for some reason. Fights just started and Goku's wasting most of his power. That and his technique is sloppy. Continue to observe the battle. Okay, so that's one of the what-if scenarios. He's usually not this sloppy. If he was fighting at his full capability, this android would already be a pile of scrap. I hope I picked the right one. Because Vegeta should be coming in at this point. As the fight continues, the heart virus takes a hold of Goku and Goku is greatly impacted. Piccolo and the others attempt to save Goku, but Android 20 stands in their way. Crisis averted by an unlikely savior, Vegeta. Vegeta uses his overwhelming strength to smash Android 19 to pieces. However, Android 19 manages to get away. And Android, wait, Android 19, Android 20, and then as they search for him, Android 20 manages to get the jump on Piccolo. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Gohan, jump to me quickly. Yes, you're almost completely sapped of power. In a few more seconds, you'll be dead! What?! There's no way he could have found us so quickly! Vegeta, back off! He's mine! Don't interfere, he says. <laughs> Excellent. He's handing me another opportunity to absorb his strength. And the second I do... What are you whimpering about over there, huh? Don't get carried away! Prepare! Over here! Over here! Don't just stop you! Explosive demon wave! Come meet your doom! Over here! I 
I think that was the only fight Piccolo had until the sale games. No, you know what? He fought 17. Piccolo proves himself stronger, but the android finds an opening to escape. And then it comes to light that Android 20 is actually Dr. Jero, the Red Ribbon Army scientist. Having escaped, Dr. Jero awakens Android 17 and the others. Piccolo and the others are powerless in, their, in the face of the, this new threat. The androids lose interest in Piccolo and go looking for Goku. Sensing a need for greater strength, Piccolo powers up by merging with Kami. At the time, at that time, a strange monster appeared on Earth. Piccolo heads towards the over oh, he fought Cell too. Now, you tell me what kind of creature you are. Make it quick. Talk or else. I try to make a habit of not talking to you. Over here. Hope you're at peace. Be gone. Don't make a sound, or it might be your last. Let's go! You're less than dirt! Be gone! Hell's own grenade! I don't think I'm, I'm doing all that. You good. are at least going to tell me this. What sort of abomination are you? My name is Cell. I am an android. I was created by the computer in Dr. Giraud's secret laboratory. That lunatic again, huh? Years ago, Dr. Giraud began collecting cell samples from the world's greatest fighters, hoping to synthesize their DNA and create the ultimate android. However, I cannot become truly perfect until I have absorbed two highly specialized life forms. And what sort of specialized life forms are you talking about? The ones I need are two of Dr. Giraud's other creations, Android 17 and 18. And once I achieve my perfect form, I will be invincible! The greatest power the universe has ever known! All right. I've heard plenty. That's everything I need to know. You... You tricked me! It was all a ploy to get me to talk! Now that I know what you are, I know how to stop you. <laughs> That's gonna be another fight. I hit him with that solar flare and he ran off. Here I am. Go ahead, show me what you've got. What? You're finished! What? Looks like you're all out of moves, Android! Nice try, but still not enough. Huh. 
You wait, I'm still just getting stuck. I don't it look like it. Don't expect me to go easy on you this time. Over here! to complete my design and realize my perfect form. Not so fast. Your fight is with me! Light grenade! Seventeen, go! Get away from him! Bye-bye. Yeah, we couldn't get him in time. What's up, Baka? Oh, Daniel Dyson, appreciate the follow. Piccolo is unable to stop Cell, who absorbs both androids in 17, 17 and 18, achieving his perfect form. Having achieved his perfect form, he proposes the Cell games. A place for any who wish to challenge him to meet their fate. Pickle joins in training, in cell games, and I think that's the last fight he had in the cell uh, saga. Is that Gohan? The anger and the pain inflicted on his friends causes Gohan to awaken of, to a vast reserve of power, completely overwhelming cell. Shiro resorts to self-destruction, costing Goku his life, but after a desperate struggle, Gohan finally eradicates Cell. Piccolo sees how much Gohan has grown, how far he has come, and is pleased. Okay. So they didn't go into Super, like... Okay, I guess this is uh, the What Ifs. This is the What Ifs territory. So... We got finished with Piccolo's, at least for right now. <laughs> 